Welcome back to this edition of KTSM 9 News Small Town Spotlight. We are coming to you live from Old Sheepdog Brewery. And it's my favorite part of this show as I kind of look down the list. We get to talk about some beer. Yeah, that's right. And uh, the brewery was uh, created in 2018 by a local couple who wanted to show the border flavor. So take a look. The business idea started all because we love craft beer. Me and my wife, uh, we love craft beer. Everywhere we go, we would go and visit craft beer. Uh, we, we started uh, enjoying, you know, experimenting with different, uh, different tastes, different styles, different flavors. Um, friends would go come over and, and they would say, you know, you should probably start selling this. Um, and we believed it, right? So we believed that and we, um, we went in that uh, pursuit of uh, looking for the right location, which we always thought about Lincoln Park. That's why we're here. Uh, the reason is because uh, my wife grew up in this area of town. Uh, so she really has really good memories of underneath the, the spaghetti bowl of playing basketball with her dad. There's so much art, so much uh, culture here that uh, we wanted to kind of just branch off of that, branch off of the, the park and, and, and its history. And we've been lucky enough that we've got, gotten a lot of support uh, by the community, by, but, but also by a bunch of artists uh, that come in. Uh, they put their art on our walls, on murals, on paintings, and we've been, we've been lucky enough and fortunate enough of, of having that, and people are, are starting to know who, who we are. Old Sheepdog was uh, starting to be known for, for Old Yeller, which is our pale ale. Um, it's, it's the first beer that I ever did here as a professional brewer. And recently, um, due to the fact that we come out on the movie of Blue Beetle, um, the, uh, we've been getting a lot of traction, so we, we've, been, uh, we've been offering our blue corn lager called the Blue Beetle Blue Corn. So that, that right now is bringing a lot of attention to people in the craft beer, plus the beer is blue, right? So you can't even beat that. And that's why the county calls us La Cerveza del Pueblo, right? So cool. And we've been talking to the owner. It doesn't seem like they're scared to be creative. We saw blue corn. He also mentioned they use different chiles in their beer. Yep. So very diverse flavors coming out of the brewery. Even heard an IPA, ice cream, Marsh waffle cone, uh, and marshmallow, marshmallow, blueberry. So they have their everything. core menu, right? But they try all these different things all the time. Which, which is, is cool really great. Yeah. that they kind of have that freedom. And actually standing by with the owner right now, Gus Delgado is our very own Monica Cortez. Hey there, Monica. Hey guys, that's absolutely right. So we are in this really cool room. We'll get to it in just a second because Gus has some breaking news for us. But first, I know we've been talking about it throughout the entire show, but Gus, I really want to talk about this can. Yes, so uh, Old Sheepdog can uh, is the can that was featured in the uh, Blue Beetle movie. Um, spoiler alert for those that haven't seen it, uh, he is in the rooftop drinking this beer um, with her with his sister so it's it's a pretty neat and we're very blessed that we come out in the movie and and you know and such big amount of screen time that we've had because it's all through the movie so we're very very blessed on, on that part and it wasn't just that part uh, do you know some other quick snippets that you may want to mention yeah so take a look at the scene in the airport uh, take a look all across their their house uh, you'll see cans uh, that we put, like the Segundo Barrio can and other cans that we've done. Uh, our growler is in top of the fridge and, of course, the, the can. And then at the end, when they're having, the, you know, some cookout, there, it's there. And then, wow, right? Wow, that's incredible, mm -hmm. Gus. Oh, my God. Okay, so talk to us. Where are we? <laughs> so this is our, our brewery. This is our uh, where we brew the, make the beer. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. these are our seven-barrel fermenters. Uh, wow. We recently acquired these seven-barrel fermenters. Uh, because of the community. The community has blessed us so much with so much support that uh, we were able to invest on, on growing. And now people would not uh, just get to enjoy us here in the tap room, but now they're gonna get to enjoy us out of El Paso. I mean, in El Paso, out of, out of the Sheepdog, right? So uh, these are gonna provide uh, beer for uh, different locations so people could try them, different stores. So we're, we're blessed uh, about that and we're very uh, happy to be able to announce that with you guys, that distribution is coming in um, very, very soon. At hopefully end, end of next month. Oh, that's amazing. See, I told you he had breaking news. Thank you so much, Gus. Guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break.